Sun Power Sun Vault, Tesla Powerwall 2. Which is the best energy storage system for your solar system? We're going to be answering that question and much, much more in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past eight years I've been helping families get their house set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And of course, in most cases, we are using renewable energy, solar power with battery backup to accomplish the energy security part of that uh, plan. Now, I'm excited to be back to you today with another head-to-head -head comparison video. We're looking at two of the premier energy storage systems on the market today, the SunPower SunVault and, of course, the Tesla Powerwall 2. Now, SunPower has been one of the leading technology providers in residential solar uh, for at least the last 10 years. For as long as I've been involved with solar, SunPower has always been considered one of the premium brands. And of course, Tesla is world renowned for its innovation and pioneering in leading the renewable energy revolution. So I'm really excited to dig into both of these products today and see how they compare head to head. Now, before we, we do the comparison and the contrasting, I'd actually like to talk about what these batteries have in common. Because you, you might say that these batteries have a lot more in common than they have apart. Uh, in fact, I might even say SunPower copied Tesla's Powerwall when they designed their product. But we, we'll talk more about that later. Uh, both of these are AC coupled batteries. Uh, what that means is that the, uh, the battery storage cell and a battery inverter is integrated into one appliance where it can interface with the home and interface with the solar system at the AC circuit breaker panel. So this is very, very important, especially those of you that already have solar panels and you're considering retrofitting to add the battery backup, the AC coupled architecture allows you to do that without having to change anything on the roof or change your existing solar panels. Everything hooks in at ground level at the circuit breaker panel. So very, very convenient there. Uh, also, these batteries can be used for both emergency backup power, which is primarily what we're concerned with here, which is how do you protect from a grid outage. But for those of you who live in uh, utility markets that have time of use metering, like California, you can use the battery to help you take advantage of the time of use offset, meaning you can help avoid purchasing power from the power company when, when you're doing those peak uh, rate hours and then you can recharge your battery uh, usually at nighttime when you have the, the cheaper off-peak rates. So you can use the batteries for both of those applications. And then of course they have a very, very nice integrated monitoring app uh, using either the, the SunPower app or the Tesla app. So we're gonna be doing the evaluation in five categories. We're gonna have a maximum potential of five points per category for a maximum total score of 25 points. Those categories are power rating, storage capacity, we'll be looking at the length and the protection of the warranty, of course the cost of the product and the installation of the product, and then finally what I call the X factor. And what the X factor is, is ways that we can award some additional points to either product for unique design features where there may not be a, an equal apples to apples comparison between them, but where it would have tremendous impact uh, for a potential system owner. So let's go ahead and jump into the comparison. All right, so taking a look here at the SunPower SunVault battery, uh, each battery has a power rating of 6.8 kilowatts. Now 6.8 kilowatts, you can run, run quite a large amount of loads on a 6.8 kilowatt power budget which means that not only can you cover your absolute critical essentials like uh, computers, refrigerators, uh, television, and internet router, but you can also run heavy loads like water pumps or septic pumps, um, in some cases even small air conditioning units within that 6.8 kilowatt power budget. So for those of you that are in rural areas like I am here, where not only do you have to worry about your food and, and, your, and your lights, but you also have to worry about your own independent water and sewer pumps, having that 6.8 kilowatt power budget can really come in handy. In terms of storage capacity, the SunVault battery has a 13 kilowatt hour storage capacity. So in most cases, if you're doing a typical home 
back up for critical systems only, that 13 kilowatt hours is gonna be enough to run those critical systems for about 24 hours before it has to be recharged. Now the SunPower product does come with a, a market leading 10 year warranty. And as you guys know, if you've watched some of the other comparison videos, most of the, the top tier battery manufacturers are, are all offering that 10 year warranty. So SunPower is right up there in the pack with the rest of them. Now in terms of cost, SunPower is the more expensive option. But of course, if you have SunPower solar panels, you already know that. You don't buy a SunPower system because you're looking for a cheap price. Those of you that have SunPower know that you are paying a premium to have maximum efficiency and maximum performance. So no surprise here, the SunPower battery is not gonna be really price comparative to the Tesla Powerwall. And then as far as X-Factor, uh, I'm gonna award it uh, two additional X-Factor points just for the uh, nice integrated design for, in the AC coupling so you can easily retrofit to an existing system and the fact that uh, you can have a SunPower system end-to-end. -end. SunPower panels, SunPower integrated microinverters, uh, and everything trackable on the SunPower app. So I think those of you that are existing SunPower customers are really gonna like this battery product. Okay, now let's take a look at Tesla. So in terms of power, the Tesla Powerwall offers 5,000 watts continuous power or up to 7,000 watts peak power for startup surges for motor starting. Now again, for most urban and suburban homes, that's gonna be more than enough for all of your critical home systems, like your fridge, your lights, your computer, your TV. Um, where this might be underpowered is in that rural application, like I mentioned earlier. If you have to run a well pump, a septic pump, and in some cases, a sump pump to prevent your basement from flooding, and then have to add on top of that refrigerator, freezer, lights, computers, that's where you may begin to exceed that 5,000 watt power budget where you might feel underpowered with the Tesla Powerwall option. In terms of storage capacity, the Powerwall offers 13 and a half kilowatt hours storage per battery unit. So right on par there with the SunVault. And again, if we're talking about backing up critical home systems only, in other words, we're not trying to run central heating and air conditioning, but just critical need systems. It's going to give you about 24 hours running time before the battery has to be recharged, either from the grid coming back or from solar, uh, the sun coming out the next day to recharge the battery for you. In terms of warranty, we again have that top tier 10 year warranty. And Tesla has also updated the terms on their warranty to now give you unlimited cycles. Uh, there were some, some language in their, their original Powerwall 2 warranty that limited the number of cycles if you were using the battery for, for time of use offset, but now they've updated the warranty that you get 10 years unlimited cycles. So very, very solid here. And then in terms of cost, it's probably really where the Tesla battery has the advantage because as of right now, it's the lowest cost AC coupling battery that's available uh, on the market. So uh, very, very uh, easy if in terms of adding battery backup to an existing solar system and it can be any brand existing system It doesn't have to be a Tesla solar system. We can add battery backup to just about any other system Now in terms of x-factor, I'm going to give Tesla two additional points for the integrated design I think it's a great elegant beautiful design um, as well as the fact that you can track everything on the Tesla app. If you're already a Tesla vehicle owner, I know a lot of those um, Tesla fans like to have everything on one single app. So you have that here as well. However, one thing I feel I do need to mention to you all is as of this recording, there are major supply chain issues with the Tesla Powerwall too. And so this is pretty common with Tesla. They generate a lot of market demand and a lot of hype and a lot of buzz and they've sold a lot more batteries uh, and through partners like us as well, they've sold a lot more Tesla Powerwall batteries than they actually have the capacity to deliver. So right now we're on a bit of a freeze, depending on what part of the country you're in, we, we're on a bit of a freeze here with selling additional Tesla Powerwall batteries until we can get uh, these units back in stock to meet the demand of existing orders. So I expect things are gonna be worked out by the second half of this year, but one thing to keep in mind with Tesla is they do tend to get ahead of themselves and um, you know, they're, 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 they're building factory capacity to catch up to the demand. But overall, a very, very solid product here. All right, so let's look at a summary comparison here. 
In terms of power rating, the Sunvolt has the advantage with 6800 watts, 6.8 kilowatts, versus the 5000 watts on the power wall. Both batteries have virtually the same storage capacity with 13 or 13 and a half kilowatt hours storage. Both batteries have the same 10 year warranty. Tesla Powerwall has the advantage with having a lower price. Of course, the Sunvolt and the SunPower brand in general was never known for having a cheap price, so I don't think there's any surprise here. And I award plus two X factor points for each battery product. So, if we tally up the final score, I'm gonna give the Sunvolt four out of five on power, four out of five on storage capacity, five out of five on warranty, three out of five on cost, because it's not cheap and then plus two X factor points for a total of 18 points. Looking at the Tesla Powerwall, we give three out of five for power, four out of four for storage capacity, and five out of five for warranty, four out of five for cost, because it is the lowest cost AC coupling battery available, and it will interoperate with other manufacturers' solar panels. And then also plus two X factor points for the nice integrated design and the integrated Tesla app. So I'm gonna to have to call this one a draw as well, but it really, really, I think is gonna come down to your individual situation. If you're in a rural area where you have your own independent well and septic systems that have pump motors that have to be powered in addition to your other 120 volt critical circuits, then that's where the Sunvolt really has the advantage giving you an extra 1800 watts of power. That's enough to run a sump pump. The 1800 watts can run a sump pump at full load and then still leave you 5,000 watts to run everything else. However, if you're in more of an urban or a suburban environment where you don't have to worry about that because you're hooked up to the, the city or county sewer system and, and, and water system for your, your uh, water service, then a single Tesla power wall is probably gonna be enough to handle all of your critical needs. It'll cost you less and it'll take up less space in your garage. So like most cases, folks, it really comes down to what is your unique situation and what are your, your unique goals? Now, if you'd like to take a look at either of these two options or other battery options that are available, feel free to reach out to us on the link below. You can visit us on the website and request a free, no obligation quote. Um, what we'll do is we'll set up a time for a short consultation, typically about 30 minutes or less, to do a video conference call so we can discuss your specific needs and goals and then get a plan in place and if necessary, get solar and battery storage equipment to match that plan so that we can get you up and running and protected from the next power outage. Well folks, I thank you for taking the time to watch the video today. As always, if you're getting good value from the information that we're presenting here, make sure you click that like button and click the subscribe button too, that way you won't miss any of the new videos. But it's really important that you do that guys because as you know, there's so many videos being uploaded on YouTube now that if the algorithm doesn't see people liking and sharing the videos and interacting with the videos, then they may not even show this to where people can see it. So please make sure you do that. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.